Hello everybody and welcome back to our Mississippi State Bulldogs Dynasty in NCAA Football 2003. The season is getting closer to the end. We are in Game 9 right now as we travel to Bryant-Denny Stadium to take on the Alabama Crimson Tide. They only have one win on the season, but you can never count out the Tide. Take a look at the top 25. Miami, Colorado, Syracuse, Fresno State, and Tennessee. That is the top 5. Then after that we've got the Florida State Seminoles. Uh, Illinois, 10-0 on the season, ranked 7th, and we are 8th. LSU is 9th, Oklahoma is 10th, and 11th, Purdue, Washington, Marshall, USC is 8-0 and and only ranked 14th. They must have not been ranked very high in the preseason. Southern Miss is 15th, South Carolina, Georgia Tech, Texas A&M, UTEP, Texas, Ohio State, Kansas State, Georgia, Bowling Green, and to round out the top 25, we have Nebraska, who just lost to Texas. Let's get into our game. Here's Robbie Ballard up to gut. He'll pick up six yards on his first carry of the day. Third and eight, though. Terry rolling out right side, takes off, and I believe he gets the first down here. Very close, but they gave it to him. Terry pressured and dropped back at the 29-yard line. Caldwell coming through on the blitz, his first sack of the game. Second and 16 now after the sack. Terry over the middle, John Pena with a nice reception for the first down. Still waiting for him to make an impact this season. Only five catches, not a whole lot of yards. And here's Kenny Harding running through a, a linebacker, picking up six yards. Second and four, high snap for Terry. Quick pass over the middle. Thomas Roy with a nice spin move up to the 25-yard line. And the Bulldogs are moving down the field with ease. Here's Dalton picking up five yards. Up that guy. Third and five. Terry over the middle. Picked off by Crawford. And that will put an end to a very solid drive. Middle linebacker comes through for the pick. Taylor taking a shot left side on third down. He overthrows his target. So the uh, Crimson Tide go three and out. The Bulldogs take back over. Second and 11. Terry crushed. Completes it anyways to Ron Hawkins, who has been a stud this season. First and ten, less than three minutes left here in the first. Nice catch. Great throw over to Kevin Davis for an eight-yard pickup. Second down, Kenny Harding up the gut, breaking the tackle, carrying a defender up to the six-yard line. Very powerful runner. And Terry's going to take off here. Nice juke move. Gets it up to the two-yard line. Almost got in there. Second and goal. Kenny Harding in the end zone. But they're going to call Chiron King for the holding penalty. Second down and goal from the 12-yard line now. Now third and goal. Robbie Ballard gets it in this time. Punches it in. Hurtling it over the line. Touchdown Bulldogs. 7-0 here in the first quarter. See if the Bulldog defense can dominate, and they can. They get a three and out once again. And the Bulldogs trying to get some more points on the board. That'll end the first quarter. Bulldogs on top, 7-0 here in Tuscaloosa. Terry over the middle, caught by Thomas Roy for the first down. He has been probably the favorite target of Terry this season. What a run by Kenny Harding, just plowing through the safety. Second and one. Terry... Just get rid of it, and he's sacked. Huge loss of seven. Should have got rid of it. Should have ran with it. Done something. Anything but get sacked for a loss of eight. And Terry hit as he throws. Almost picked off again. And the Bulldogs left to send on Mike Randall and the field goal unit. The kick is up, and he's going to push this one to the left. So a pick and a missed field goal. So far for the Bulldogs, and Jeff Terry gets sacked again back at the 21-yard line. Third and 15. Terry, Hawkins, wide open past the 45-yard line, down to the 46. Terry now 7 of 10 for 111 yards. One pick, sacked three times. Terry rolling out right side. And he's going to chuck it up and almost picked off. I'm not sure who he was going for right there, but it wasn't even close. Crimson Tide take over. Taylor taking a shot right side. Caught by Tillman up to the 36-yard line. Best play of the day for the Tide. Second and seven. Pope's going to get another first down here for the Tide. 
They've only got 12 yards on the ground. Less than three minutes to go here in the first half. Taylor over the middle, caught by Lewis. That's the fullback, and he gets about 17 yards. 2.38 to go. Taylor, quick pass to Taylor, the slot receiver, and they'll have another first down. Taylor, all day to throw it. Over the left side, Ray inside the five-yard line, and the Tide are marching. Or is marching. I don't know how you would say that, guys. But touchdown, Crimson Tide. Fullback punches it in. And it's now 7-7. Seven to seven. Bulldogs need something, but Terry gets sacked again back at his 18-yard line. Offensive line is just letting us down today. Third and 16. Terry over the middle. That should have been picked off. He wanted Hawkins. He dove for it. Wasn't even close. And the Bulldogs are going to punt the football away. John White on for the punt, and he has a leg. Out of the 35-yard line, Joe Grimes dives and misses. Randall's in the open field. Past the 30, gets crushed at the 26-yard line. Crimson Tide in great field position to start this drive. Taylor right side, what a throw as he's falling back to the left and gets it all the way out to the right side to Aguirre. Donnie Kramer on the coverage. He's been getting beat today. Left side almost picked off. That was Ben Sutton with the deflection. Less than a minute to go here. Crimson Tide kicked the field goal up and through the uprights. And they have a 10-7 lead. Six seconds to go here in the first half. Terry taking a quick shot right side. Davis down with one second left. And they let the second run out. The clock is supposed to stop after a first down. That is just unacceptable. But the Tide have the lead at the half. 10-7. Bulldogs set to kick it off. And, of course, Mike Randall boots this one five yards deep into the end zone. And Shepard will kneel it down. Crowd starting to get into it. The Tide have the lead, and Donnie Kramer is beat by Aguirre, and he is gone. What a play to start the second half. Taylor to Aguirre. Fireworks here in the second half. That's going to give them a 17-7 lead. Bulldogs go three and out, and the Tide continue to be impressive. After that first quarter, that they were just awful in. And Taylor left side picked off by Bernard Moreno. And he's going to return this one up past the 20-yard line all the way to the 27. And believe it or not, that is his first interception of the season. Bulldogs need their offense to get going, though. Terry taking a shot deep to Hawkins. And it's picked off by Shepard at the 30-yard line. Two turnovers now for the Bulldogs. And Taylor off his back foot, completes the pass out to Wallace. George Tyler, he's just been awful this season. I don't know what's going on with him. Second and 15, or second and five, excuse me. Lewis picks up the first down, about a seven-yard carry for the fullback. Now third and 12. Taylor, left side, deflected away by Bernard Moreno, who has stepped up here in the second half. Fourth and 12, they're going to go for it. Taylor is crushed by Neil Nelson. And that pass hits the grass, incomplete. The Bulldogs offense takes over. Terry in there, hands it to Dalton. He's gonna break a tackle, spins out two defenders. Great run, but he fumbles it. It's on the ground, recovered by Alabama. A huge run ends in disaster for MSU. Taylor sacked, loses about six yards. That is Stevenson's first sack of the season. Comes at a great time. That makes it third and 15. Taylor by himself in the backfield. Left side. Randall had it. He got hit and dropped it. And the Bulldogs get another shot here. Terry with a great run. Picks up the first down off the right side on a quarterback sprint. Second and five. Terry. Another good run, but he fumbles it too. Alabama recovers it. That is Farmer up to the 36-yard line. Four turnovers now for MSU. And they're never going to crawl back into this game if they can't hold on to the football. Alabama in the shotgun. Taylor taking a deep shot right side. Aguirre dives for it. He laid out at the six-yard line. He's over 100 yards receiving now. And Lewis, the fullback, is going to punch it in for the third time this season. Second of the game. Bulldogs now down big here in Tuscaloosa to the 1-7 and seven Crimson Tide. Napoleon Watson now in at quarterback. Kevin Davis with a nice out route. That's a catch past the 50 down to the 46-yard line. 
Last play of the third quarter. Watson rolling left, throwing back across the middle. Ron Hawkins inside the 20 yard line. And it does not look like Jeff Terry is going to come back in this game. He has just not been good since the first quarter. The Bulldogs need a spark. They are down big right now. It is 24 to 7 entering the fourth quarter. Eighth ranked Bulldogs about to be upset as Napoleon Watson finds John Pena for this first touchdown of the season. We've been waiting for him. He has so many drops this year. I believe he has more drops than catches. But that comes at a huge time and that is going to make it 24 to 14 with 6.47 remaining in the game. Taylor crushed. I believe that was a designed run and he's way back at his own 13 yard line. That makes it third and 17. Taylor, quick pass, Randall has it. George Tyler misses another tackle, and Randall is off to the races, past the 30 and tracked down by Michael Galar inside the 25 yard line. What is going on today for the Bulldogs? Taylor, left side, Moreno deflects it away, and then uh, Alabama sends on the field goal unit. The kick is up, and it is just barely good. And that'll give the Crimson Tide a 27-14 lead with less than six minutes remaining. Watson taking a deep shot. Orlando Webb comes down with it inside the 20. The 10-5 touchdown. And they close the gap to six points. Huge play so far from Napoleon Watson in the two drives that he's been in. These touchdowns are just coming at a huge time. Critical time. They're still down, but they have plenty of time left in this ball game. The defense needs a stop though, third and ten. Taylor throws it out of bounds because of the pressure. And the Bulldogs get the ball back, second and eleven. Watson hit as he throws it and is picked off. Brown has it at the 40-yard line. And that is the fifth turnover for MSU. Alabama ends up sending on the field goal unit. They miss it. So the Bulldogs still have a shot here. Third and five. Watson. Rolling around, sack back at his 25, he fumbles it. Richard recovers, Scott Richard to the 24 yard line. And that'll make it fourth down and long. Fourth and 10, they're gonna go for it instead of punting it. And wide open, but a nice deflection by the safety. He had Orlando Webb. Alabama ends up kicking another field goal to go up by nine points. Less than a minute to go. Watson still slinging it. Ron Hawkins at the 30, he has it. Inside the 20, the 10, the 5, and out of bounds at the 1-yard line. Three plays in a row. They fail to get in the end zone. They have to send on Mike Randall for a field goal. The kick is up and good. And the Bulldogs still have a shot here with six seconds to go. They need an onside kick. Randall kicks it, and it is caught by a big lineman. And that is going to do it. The Bulldogs' high, um, national title chances are completely ruined with a loss to the 1-7 and seven Alabama Crimson Tide. Now 2-7. and seven. Bulldogs drop to 6-3, and three, and I don't think anybody saw this coming today. This is the first time in this dynasty that we have lost to Alabama. It's usually a blowout. I believe there was only one close game, and we ended up picking off Brody Croyle to win that ball game. But we dominated the first quarter. We just had a missed field goal and an interception. And then we had four more turnovers in the next three quarters. Just very sloppy. And all I can say is roll tide roll. Because that was the biggest upset they've had this entire dynasty. Napoleon Watson came in. He played lights out. The interception wasn't really his fault. He got crushed as he threw it. We still had a chance to win it at that point. Ron Hawkins, 154 yards receiving. John Pena finally gets in the end zone. Orlando Webb, one catch, 73 yards, and a touchdown. Hawkins also with a drop. Simeon Hoffman, a lot of sack today. Antoine Finch, 12 tackles. That's all me, baby. Oh, yeah. Two tackles for a loss as well. Moreno, one pick, 24-yard return. A bunch of deflections today. But the most important stat of all, we took that L. Well, that's going to do it for this video, guys. I will see you next Tuesday as we drop out of the rankings. We'll be on national television next Tuesday as we host the fourth-ranked Tennessee Volunteers. We still have a shot at the SEC, guys, so don't hang your heads. Keep your head up. 
we got this. We're going to take out the Volunteers. We're going to take them to the woodshed. Let's try to get an embarrassing win against the Volunteers, who are 8-1 on the season. It should be fun. I'll see you guys tomorrow with FCS Dynasty. That'll be fun as well. Take it easy, guys.